So in the schools of the Tzadik Amis, Rabbi Nachman ben Fege, and his tremendous work of Rabbi Olozer Shlomo Shik, to whom I am eternally grateful for really bringing me to uh, closer to Hashem. So here we had the story uh, that we, the, I said I was going to uh, try to work on a different, tra a better translation. And let me see uh, if I can find it. So we had this little story right here. And I hope that it, it's helpful, my translation here, to make it more understanding to everybody, understandable. He said, There is a story about a particular boat. That the whole boat was full of Gentiles. There was one Jew in the midst. So they came to the mast of this the, the ship, one of the masts, the ship. So they said, look, uh, hey, Jew, this uh, Yehudi Poloni, told Maus Va'aldach of the Nezah, I'm going to give you $100, go up on the top of this mouse, this, this, and, and tell me what's going on. And then take from there, you know, some kind of idea of what's going on so we can see where we're going. So he said, to he says, I'm just a guest. Do I know where we're going? I'm going to look up there and I'm going to see where we're going. Amro, so they said, We have a Jew here who is a guest. I know about Jews. Every place you go, your God goes along with you. Because a God is close to you. Big Tzadik. So this is why we look for the Jew. That's what he wanted to say. Because when things get really, really bad, that is when the walls, so to speak, fall. And inside we find that there is a holy Jew. But we're, we've been beaten and we are listening to Rabbi Allah Shalom al-Sheikh. Big Tzadik. So now the Jews were threatened. And they had to pray so that the king's son would be revealed and healed. Because the main person of the Jews is the tzaddik. That through this tzaddik, because this tzaddik is, because, is like a, a magnet that draws all of the light to, of our prayers to him and funnels it into the right direction. So they found him and they brought him back to the king. But the tzaddik himself, he he was praying every single day, Tomit, all night long. God may his name be blessed. Because he promised the king that the, the, the son of the king would be a tzaddik too, a full of tremendous, tremendous, wonderful mitzvahs. The Lahoya came, but it was not like, like that. He didn't look like that at all. And he claimed, he was claiming to Hashem Yisbarach, did I do this for my own glory? So let me go back. So he said that he he. Uh, let me see. I'm in the wrong place. I had an interruption there. I apologize. Let's go back so that I can find my place and get back into the rhythm of this. So they brought him to the king. He was constantly praying to Hashem Yisbarach. Because he promised the king, but it wasn't like that. And he was claiming or complaining to Hashem Yisbarach. Did I do all of this for my own glory? I only did this for your glory. But now it's not it, just like I prayed and I thought we had understanding that I understood your will. And the king came, the, the tzaddik came to the king. 
And he prayed and he prayed, but it didn't stop. He said, Because the tzaddikim, and this is really true of Rav Shik, always pouring out their souls, Allah is on behalf of the neshamas of the Jews. She yelled tzaddikim, that the Jews should become tzaddikim. And there will be beautiful gems. That Hashem will be honored by them, beautified by us. And that we would therefore become like the precious jewels of the crown of the king. So then, as a result of the prayer, that it became known to him that that a curse had been had been pronounced. Because the power of Kishuv can hold back prayer. Maybe he means to say that the spell is somebody says something bad to you. It gets or something that you take badly. So maybe it's intended to be bad. So you know, so remember it's coming from a Shem is borrowed. But in any case, he said that the the the, the kishuf, which could be the bad tidings that we're talking about here, the bad idea, it holds you back from praying properly. He a kishuf who in in shall teva because the kishuf is something that has to do with nature, mikra mazel. It has to do with 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 certain timing, and, and the mazel, the moment. Um Allah Vakasakajgocha and it and it it hides. It hides the aspect of God which was ain't old Bil Vadal. Nim calls us at Savarat Sadik, Hanao Hoya Govolamalam Min Kalak Shafin. But even so, so in other words, what he's trying to say is, is that the nature of a spell somebody said uh, to me, because I'm a very sensitive guy, so me somebody says something really bothers me. I get bothered and bothered that thing that bothered me. Either it's a political thing or a personal thing, all different kinds, whatever it is. And that will obscure you from actually praying through it to be able to see that no matter what is coming at you, there is an Ames of Baruchu that is willing that to happen. Now, it's a hard, it's hard thing, so that's the concept of Ain Od Mel Vado. In the end, that's all there is. This Sadik is able to see that. He's able to rise above the the bullying or the the the. Uh, in his particular case, he was downtrodden because he was not able to produce the 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 precious sun that he was supposed to. But he was able to see beyond that, and he saw there therefore that this whole idea that's happening that's keeping the sun from revealing himself is a matter of kishuf. It's a spell. So he says, Ki hu davuk tomed b'chai ha'chayim bo yisbar, because he is constantly clinging to the life of lives. Bo yisbar ha'vashem yim, may his name be blessed. The bitl kol har goshosa, that he comes to such a level of bitl, that all of his senses are nullified. This is, a, if you see some of the things that we're learning here on Rabbi, Rabbi Memran, saying the same thing about your thoughts. Can you become quiet inside? Can we? So that beyond the noise that we can he see or hear or get a vision of the, the pureness of Hashem Yisbarach. So he said, So he, all of his senses become nullified. Which incite, I told you, atmospheric and personal emotions in order to to refrain to keep him back to, to, to hold him back from anything and then the Sadi came and he told the king that this is a spell and what they did was they threw the spell into the water and therefore there is no no relief. There's nothing to 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 do for the ben melakim. She has shlichah mechashev she answer a bekech of the mind. The only way you can do this is to find the mechashev. That's the witch. She offer a kishav on the mind that she that did this kishav and put it into water. 
So now he wants to go back to a point which you see a lot of people saying this. The kavana of tevilas of, uh, of immersing yourself in the mikvah of mayim. That when a person is able to enter into the forty saw of the mikvah and bathe himself there. This is causes all of the bad spirits that are to flee from him. And it nullifies from him all of those forces of destruction. Amra Melech. That is the Melech Malcha Amloch and the King of Kings HaKodesh Baruch Hu. So HaKodesh Baruch Hu now is speaking to the Tzadik HaEmes. Shuhu Bechinas Mashiach, which is the concept of the Mashiach. Ani Noza Nechol. I'm going to give you all of the witches. You could take them all and throw them into the water. Kadesh Yisrabi Benisa, that my son should be healed. Now, so now that he's revealed that the king is the Melech Machei Amlochim Hakadosh Baruch Hu, which could be another word for Zeranpe, that is the male aspect, because you also have the female aspect that produced this child. What is the king that is Hakadosh Baruch Hu want? He wants human beings filled with jewels. The jewels of, uh, of of the commandments, the jewels of good behavior and improving yourself. So he says, "Ki lebesof babias a mashiach tzikeno." So when the his uh, our righteous mashiach will come, yisbato kol leteva. He'll nullify nature, mikra things that happen by accident, hamaz of akishav and spells. Now understand again that the concept of all of this. It's physicality. Let's see his words. Uh, let me see if I can get the nature. So the way things have to be, they have to be this way. It won't be like that anymore. Mikra. Things you'll be able to see beyond the, uh, the, this, this is what Mashiach will bring. You'll be able to uh, see beyond the circumstances that are right in front of you. The man who insults you, the guy that hit your car, whatever it is. You're more likely your, your anger with your husband or wife. Or whatever it would be, that there's something behind that, there's something beyond that. Mazel v'chakishav, and all the mazel, mazel means, you know, just, that, just the luck, the luck of it, that things are happenstance, v'chakishav, and then spells which try to gather a hold of all of this and cast it. And you'll see only the real consciousness, the consciousness of Hashem Yisbaruch, and how it is that He is inside and causing everything. Then you'll see that everything actually is water anyway. Uh, 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 so if it is water anyway. And I think we'll have to stop here. So we'll stop right here. And that will be the shear for today. And try to get back as soon as I can. This is Baruch Fleischmann, Tiglin Elevator, Kolam.